Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aries weekly money and career reading from January 22nd to the 28th, 2024. Aries, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aries weekly money and career January 22nd to the 28th, 2023. Uh, <laughs> Surprised I haven't made that mistake more often. All right, Aries, let's get started. Money and career January 22nd to the 28th, 2024. Thank you all for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the here out, on the lookout for the magic word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below and be subscribed. All right. King of Cups. Nice. Stability. Even through the obstacles. Stability, stability, stability. You have abundance here, Eight of Pentacles. There's money coming in or you're stabilizing your financial situation, long-term stability. Feels like in your home, you're finding hmm, a sense of stability, even though you are in conflicts. There are, uh, you want to be in control. It has been difficult. And maybe it has been difficult at work. And maybe that has an impact on your family, right? This is your battle of every day to keep those boundaries, to keep that stamina up, that energy, that empowerment, no matter what. Yes, beautiful. You are positive. You are ambitious. You're putting yourself out there. And these positive energies that you have, um, the ability to transform this into money, into ambition, into a new job, a new project, you, no matter what the situation is, no matter what your personal situation is, your energies that you have, you know, with friends, with family, with whatever, you have the power and you're remaining calm. Not only you're remaining calm, but you're, you're sort of stabilizing your emotions where you're able to see the situation in a calm, in a calmer way, uh, make decisions with, um, with a calmer energy, channeling your emotions, filtering your emotions and in a more healthy way. I like that. And that, even though you're sort of taming the beast, right? No matter what, you have control. It seems like it's moving into, it's moving you into a positive energy with the sun successful energy it's almost like you're defending your space by all means it def it's defending your position by all means i don't know if these are the right cards let's see um and it, it feels like no matter what the situation is, you're realizing that combativeness might not be the best solution. Those ego fights, those ego conflicts of wanting to be the one, right, that is right. It feels like you're, you're moving around in a softer energy finding your place, finding a healthy, those healthy boundaries, making decisions, king of wands. There you are, Aries. 
healing your wounds, believing in yourself, and believing in your success. So maybe you're now stabilizing your emotions so you can make a decision. And that is really opening up to these positive energies, getting better and better. And waking up in the morning in a positive way, seeing the glass half, half full, being there for others, sharing the love. Page of Swords, the Magician, and Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. So you have money coming in that you are transforming. You know it's time to move forward on this, or it's time to choose, time to make things happen your way. You're celebrating, it's almost like you're celebrating victory. You're celebrating being comfortable with who you are, making your own decisions and following your own path. Page of Swords. Um, it's new ideas, new inspiration. You're curious again. Right? Maybe I'm not saying you weren't curious before, but it feels like these conflicts or this situation, whatever it is that you're combating, sort of put your creativity and your ambition on the back burner. But now it's sort of like you're never running out of ideas. You're you're debating, you're you're a little anxious, but you're Maybe you're training for something new. Maybe you're excited to enter a new realm, new professional realm, right? Maybe you're excited to get that diploma or take those classes or take another route and associate yourself with new people, new groups of people, new communities, new knowledge. It feels like you're, you either you're ready for, extra education or you know being trained or you know going back to school or going to school or it feels like you're at the very early stages of a new career or of a new project and trying to brain pick people that have more knowledge or more experience than you and try to dry, draw from those people. And so now you feel or you know that it's time to move forward on something here where you have an opportunity or there's money coming in so you're developing something else or the Ace of Pentacles is a new job offer, a new business opportunity, right? And so here... On this new idea, a lot of Page of Swords these days, innovative ideas, new ideas, ideas from younger generations, very curious, very creative, people coming in with all kinds of new ideas that maybe you hadn't thought about, right? And that's putting you in a position where you have a choice to make. Should I work with these people? Should I branch out? Should I go adventure myself on this new idea? Stepping up your game, stepping up your knowledge with the judgment. It's a pivotal moment in your career or a pivotal moment in your professional choice. And it feels like you're rising up to something more important at this moment. Something that you really want to work on. Something that you are you were battling and now you realize maybe these are the right people I should be working with. Or maybe this is something that's going to heal my wounds, heal my triggers. And at the same time now boost my confidence because I can move forward in something calmer, more serene, yet very excited and very innovative. Interesting, uh, Aries. Interesting. All right, let's see. And I'm loving this sun. So it's about the big decision with the um, with the judgment, right? Judgment is all about rising up, rising up to something else that you're destined to because you feel like you're destined to more. And letting go of your old self, letting go of an old... Uh, cycle 
and moving into something where you feel makes more sense to you. And so it is significant. This is aligning yourself on the right path, right? That you're almost there and, and you've learned and you've learned a lot and things are sort of coming together, but not in the same way as before. You're moving on, moving on. Yes, there you go, moving on. Eight of cups and you're just moving out of toxic Toxic vibes, toxic energy, round and around in a circle, feeling bound, feeling bound to certain ways, feeling bound to certain peoples, feeling bound to people that think you should do things in only one way. King of King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe you're bound to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe that's your boss, or maybe that's someone you're working with, right? You, you don't want that anymore. You don't want to work that way anymore. You don't want to deal with that anymore. You're moving on. Eight of Cups. And you might be moving away from a lot of emotions. And you might be moving away from, uh, you know, past co-workers, friends, people you worked with, right? It's not even automatically leaving a job. It, it's leaving an energy. So you might be in the same job. You might be in the same career. You might be in the same, you know, professional realm. It's just that the people you're working with on a specific project or the people you've been working with for a little while, that's not jiving anymore. They're too controlling. They're too controlling. And because they're controlling, can be a Capricorn too, uh, because they're controlling emotionally, you feel sort of stuck to do things a certain way. Four of Pentacles. Not wanting to share. But is that you or is that or or those the other people? Maybe it's a company that works that way, right? It's our way or the highway. Four of Pentacles. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your pre your pentacles. You're pre you're you're afraid of change, but you feel like no matter what, you have to change. You have to move on to something fresh, something fun, something energetic, and you have the sun. So whatever it is you choose, you this is just going to get better and better. You're moving into something really, really positive and successful, and actually enjoying the people you're going to work with but you're stepping up into something new, right? Um, letting go of the past. And um, something is finally coming together, refreshed, ready to take on the new. But it feels like you're still hanging on a little bit, protecting yourself. protecting yourself for stability or finding stability or trying to budget and find stability, right? Let's see what other cards we have here. Aries, weekly, money and career. Here's a death card. And again, a page so you're manifesting money you're manifesting fresh new you're really at a crossroads you have an ace of pentacles there's an offer there or money coming in you have a page of pentacles there's messages and a financial opportunity there and you have the death card which is really leaving that past behind the death of a phase of a cycle of a way of working of a community you're working with you know you're moving into something new and once you understand to let go let go the toxicity or the manipulation or feeling tied down to a certain way of working or maybe tied by certain contracts within a company or a group of people 
then you can move on to your positivity, your happiness. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Aries, weekly, money and career. January 22nd to the 28th, 2024, for the sign of Aries. Big shift, big shift. Three of Cups again. It, it feels like you're, you want to be seen by these people or you're celebrating working with new people, feeling more comfortable, big decision, big introspection, having to figure things out. You know the answer is within. You know it's your choice. You have to dig deep to make it happen. You have to dig deep to figure it out. Four of Wands, family. Uh, you are within family. This is maybe a family situation or you're celebrating within your family that you did finally make a decision or that you feel more comfortable with the decision you just took. Knight of Wands, it's lighter, the lovers, being very clear in where you stand, no filter, you're honest, you're loyal, you feel like what you see is what you get, and you are that person, right? And Ace of Pentacles, again, there's an offer there. Offer there, opportunity there. You are um, on the right path. And if you have to make a decision that maybe involves family, or maybe it's a little more than just your job, it's emotional, but you're very honest with yourself and you're very honest with the situation once you make your decision with the lovers, right? You're clear. You're clear on where you stand. It might be hard and it might take a while because you have the hermit, right? Having to dig deep to make that, answer, to make that decision or to find those answers. But you understand now you've searched and searched again and really worked on yourself, took the time to try to find solutions, all solutions, different ways, right? And little by little, you're growing. Little by little, you're making things happen. After a long, long reflection, you have experience, you have knowledge, you have ambition and perseverance, you are, making the right choice, Aries. Whatever it means for you, whatever this choice means, profound, profound changes are happening. Um, I wanna say that the magic word here, Aries, is success and transformation. Two words, success and transformation. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put success and transformation in the comment section and be subscribed. And even if you're not interested in the free reading, share those energies, empower yourself and others to find those energies and move forward. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your energies and supporting this channel. Have a great week, Aries. Take care. Bye-bye.